I have in my hand here a receipt. It's pretty old now. The color's faded. The paper is a little wrinkled. But it says here that a deposit was made for $2,525. About eight years ago, I went into a Bank of America and I deposited this amount into my landlord at the time's bank account. A week prior to that, I had went to court because I was being evicted and the judge told me I had seven days to come up with this amount or I would have to move. I didn't have any money, nor did I have any resources to pull from. I thought it would take an act of Congress to get that money in seven days. I was literally leaning on God to help me get what I needed. And believe it or not, in six days, I was able to deposit this whole amount into the account. I keep this bank receipt to help me remember what God had done for me. I've been in many situations since this one where I was worried, nervous, stressed, anxious, fearful about various situations and how they would turn out. Will I have enough money for this? Will I able, be able to make this happen? What will be the outcome of this situation? During those times, I always pull this out and I remember. It helps me represent what God did for me. Me remembering wasn't about calling to mind what happened. I could always do that. But remembering had to do with me participating in the idea of making a change in my life according to what I remembered. See, when I pull out this receipt, I remember what happened on that day. My anxiety and my stress subside. Fear decreases. I'm calmer. I am reminded how good God is how faithful he is, how he's a provider. And what I learned from that experience is remembering encourages change. As I think about this and reflect on this week and what this week means to us, I'm reminded of the Lord's Supper or the Last Supper and Jesus' words to his disciples. The Last Supper took place on the first day of Passover, Passover being the remembrance of Israel being freed from slavery to Egypt, and specifically when the angel of death passed over the homes of the Israelites that had lamb's blood over the doors. On that day, Jesus had sent his disciples ahead into the city to prepare a meal to celebrate. During the dinner, Jesus explained to them that one of the 12 would betray him. He prayed and thanked God for the meal. He broke the bread and shared the wine with the disciples and explained to them how the bread is a symbol of his body broken for them and the wine a symbol of his blood which would be poured out for their sins to be forgiven. While doing this, he tells them according to Luke's gospel and Paul in 1 Corinthians to do this in remembrance of me. The word remembrance is anamnesis which means to make present from the past, to make present again, to represent. What I believe Jesus is telling us is we are to represent in our lives what he did on the cross, his sacrifice, his bloodshed. Every time we partake in the Lord's Supper, communion, we represent grace offered to us. We represent forgiveness of sin and love he has for us and freedom. You know, oftentimes I think we forget what Jesus has done for us. I mean, we can call to remembrance the Last Supper. It is in our memory bank, but I think we forget what Jesus' sacrifice did for us. The change it encourages us to make in our lives by remembering. It is displayed in how we live our lives. Some of us live in fear and in bondage, loneliness, and feeling unwanted and unloved because we have forgotten. But when we partake in the Lord's Supper, we are reminded we don't have to be fearful because he paid the cost for it all. We don't have to be in bondage because his sacrifice freed us. We don't have to be lonely, feel unwanted, 
or unloved because we know he paid the ultimate cost because he loves us and he is always with us. Every time we partake, we represent the past and it changes us because remembering encourages change. Let's represent in our lives the gift he has given us. Let's not just call to mind his sacrifice and the suffering on our behalf, but let's make present again in our lives the gift he has given us. Let our remembering encourage change in our lives.